Warning, read and follow all labels in the owner's manual. In this video, you'll learn about laser welding basics and the parameters that you can control to create consistent, high-quality welds. All users must review the owner's manual in its entirety and be fully trained before using the optic system. Warning, class four invisible laser radiation can permanently damage eyes and skin. Everyone present during laser operation must wear both Miller Optics laser welding helmet and laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers. First, we will cover some laser welding basics. Optic system generates two laser beams, a low power guide beam that is visible for part alignment and a high power welding beam that is invisible. Be sure to always wear laser safety glasses certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers when operating the system. Additionally, always make sure to use the Miller laser welding helmet when welding. The high power beam creates a liquid melt zone. As you move the laser beam, the melt zone moves along the seam. The liquid metal from each side of the seam mixes to form the solid weld zone. Now we'll go over some of the basics about parameters and controls. The optic system delivers laser power with the capability of welding in different modes. The optics laser system power can be adjusted for your application up to 2000 watts. When welding at a given speed, increase the laser power to increase the penetration depth and decrease power to decrease penetration depth. Wobble welding increases the weld seam width up to an additional 5 millimeters. When the wobble length is set at zero, the laser beam is fixed on axis and creates a 0.3 millimeters wide weld pool. As the wobble length can be adjusted up to 5 millimeters, the laser beam scans from side to side and creates a weld pool of similar width. Longer wobble lengths are useful for wider joints. You can also adjust the wobble frequency. This is how fast the laser beam is moving from side to side. When the wobble frequency is set at zero, the laser beam is fixed. As the wobble control is adjusted up to 300 Hertz, the laser beam scans from side to side faster. Faster welding speeds require higher wobble frequencies. Thicker materials require lower frequencies. Please note that setting the wobble frequency incorrectly may increase welding spatter and reduce weld quality. The preset modes provide optimum wobble settings while allowing you to make adjustments as needed to achieve the best quality on your parts. This concludes laser welding basics and parameter settings for the optic system. Please watch our other videos for additional operating instructions and laser welding tips.